Hi everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Arun Reddy Tech for you. Our today's topic is introduction to database. So let us see what is this database. So if you are new to my video, if you want to learn DBMS, you can go through my channel playlist. In playlist, you can find a folder called DBMS in that remaining videos will be available. So if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. So coming to our topic. So today we are going to learn introduction to database. Okay. So in this, we are going to learn a basics of database. For example, what is the data? What is the information? What is the metadata? What is database and how our database, uh, database evaluated. Okay. So let us see one by one. So first let us start with the data. Right. So what is the data? Okay. So data is a plural of data. So what we are saying data is a plural of data which is originally a Latin noun meaning something given. Okay. So what we are saying here, actually the data meaning is something given. Okay. So it's a plural. So what is singular then datum. Okay. So they are actually a Latin words. So now today's data is used English both as a plural noun meaning fact or piece of information. So nowadays what we are doing, we are using in English, actually they are Latin terms. Datum is a singular and data is a plural. Okay. So now we are using in English data for both singular and plural. Okay. Right. So how a data will be means. So data is the information that can be stored and used by computer program. See, first of all, data will not exist physically. Okay. So they are virtual. Okay. So they can only stored and used in the computer programs. For example, uh, our uh, computers and our uh, phones okay smartphones okay not phones smartphones okay so they cannot uh, they are not existing in the physical form they cannot be used they can be used only in the computer program that means a uh, smartphone or a computer right okay so data can be information thought or media that is being transferred from one person to another okay so they can be transferred how they can be transferred again electronically okay because they doesn't physically exist okay so everything we can see or communicate in the form of data um, in computer it can be used in many forms for example we can say numbers okay numbers also will come under the data characters okay text symbols uh, images audio video all will all these are called as data and they are not physically exist right they are virtual right okay so then what is the difference between data and information let us see Okay. So for example, data you are saying is a data is a raw and unorganized fact that requires to be processed to make it meaningful. What we are saying data is a raw fact. Okay. So basic source. Okay. So they are not organized. Okay. So they are in the unorganized form. Okay. So they, so when they are in the unorganized form, they will be no, they are no, not in a meaningful form and we cannot take any decision with the help of data. So what we have to do, we have to convert the data into information so how to convert see information is a set of data which is processed in meaningful way according to the given requirements so what you are saying we have to change the data into information okay for this for this we required a process for this what we are required process okay so now after process what happens it will become into meaningful form okay so information is processed structured and presented in a given context to make it meaningful and useful so what we are saying we are converting the data into information and information what it will be it will be in the structured form okay so they are not unorganized but they are organized and structured and they are presented well so everybody can understand okay so it will be meaningful and useful so i will show you a diagrammatic uh, uh, how the data and process is okay uh, i will say an example also for example there is a tree okay so tree is a data okay so tree cannot uh, tree we cannot use directly right okay so what we will do we will cut and make it into the bench suppose you want a bench so tree without tree we cannot create a bench right so to cut and make it in the bench then bench will be useful so same way here data is a tree but we cannot use directly so you have to do certain process so that it will become information and we can take a decision on information or we, it will be useful, meaningful or it can be used. Okay. So that's the difference between a data and information. So of course information cannot, uh, in, information uh, without data, we cannot get information. Okay. But without information, we can have our data, right? So only difference is process. So before process, it's a data. After process, it is information. 
okay right so i will show you another dia example diagrammatical example for example see i have a ms access file okay so which contains all the data now if i show you the data nobody can understand and they are not in a proper organized way so now what happened i have just uh, taken the ms access data and convert into the graphical uh, dashboard form so now everybody can easily understand okay everybody can easily understand uh, the dashboard now so they can take a decision uh, how our sales are increasing or decreasing how the manufacturing is how the cost effect uh, sorry how the cost cut uh, sorry sorry uh, how the cost is affecting the sales okay so all this can be easily understood and they can take a decision right so that's the difference between a data and information and in between there's a process right okay so now let us see uh, main difference between information and data okay so data is unorganized and unrefined means they are fresh raw okay so information is processed organized and present in a meaningful context means they are well presented okay they are organized and they are well presented data is an individual unit uh, data is an individual unit that contains raw material which do not carry any specific information see so why you are saying individual unit for example Uh, i have taken a print out of a students okay result so there are nearly 200 or 300 students let us assume 300 students are there five sections okay each section 60 so five sections a uh, 300 students are there right so now sorry six sections okay so six sections i have taken print outs so individual result print out is a now what it is data so now information what is it so information is a group of data that collected carries a logical meaning see now what happened i have kept 60 60 60 60 separately i have summarized the data and said that uh, this class average is this much this class average is this much so uh, now a principal will come to a conclusion that this class students are very good they are studying well this class students are uh, not studying well and they have to be improved okay so that's the difference see example data of a student um, test score average score in a class okay so so here data is individual unit and information is group see average is a group and a, a score card of a student is individual right okay so data doesn't depend on information of course the information depends on data right without uh, data we cannot get the information R raw data alone is sufficient sorry alone is insufficient to take a decision okay so with uh, with raw data we cannot take a decision now we have to process it means you have to summarize or we have to make it in a uh, certain order that we can take a decision right so information is sufficient right so example you have seen student test score and average class of score okay so that's the difference between a data and information now let us go to the name metadata what is metadata metadata is defined as information that describe the described and explained data okay so what we are saying here the data about data is metadata or information about the data is Uh, metadata for example if you have created a folder and you stored a five five uh, images in the folder now file contains five images so five images are data now description about the images for example image contains um, how much pixel okay so what camera they have used what is the file name what is the extension it is a png or a bmp or what it is okay so how much size it is all this are called metadata generally metadata is hidden okay data is <coughs> sorry data is shown metadata is hidden right so here what you are saying uh, it provides details such as source uh, type owner relationship all this okay so the information about the data see data is Uh, what you said data is raw facts right so information about the data is metadata okay so metadata is hidden data type see we cannot see uh, generally uh, uh, metadata okay for example image video files are there okay so uh, when when you uh, get a video what you'll do you'll watch the video but you will not see what kind of uh, format it is it is a mp4 format or is it is uh, uh, some other video format how much it is storing so all these details come under the metadata so i'll show you a best example see i have take uh, we have a image of cat okay somebody has taken a picture of a uh, image of cat now this is data right so the this information about this data or data about data is called as metadata see who file name what how the file name is given who has taken this uh, what date what time how a file how much storage it is what is the camera they have used what the lens they have used all will this will come under the metadata 
right so i hope you have understood the different between a data and metadata right let us move to the next database okay so what is database means database is a collection of interrelated data so interrelated data which can which is used to retrieve insert and delete the data efficiently so generally what database means where we store the data okay so where we will insert where we will if we don't require we will delete it and whenever we want we will retrieve it okay so retrieve insert delete so here what we are saying database is a collection of interrelated so what do you mean by interrelated means for example there is a college database you can see college database will contain so staff student faculty information or a college building something okay it doesn't contains a movie cricket or uh, some other information right okay other countries information no it only it's contains interrelated data about the college that means staff student and faculty that's why we will say interrelated okay it's it doesn't contain all the information we cannot say a collection of information because because it contains only an interrelated data right so what uh, this database will help us to means uh, it will help us to create the data in the form of tables schemas views reports etc okay so all the data which you stored in the database can be used for further uh, requirements okay right now let us see evaluation of database okay now we have seen the definition of database now let us go to the evaluation so how it has evaluation means history okay so it's 60s traditional file system 70s hierarchy network 80s uh, relational 90s object oriented uh, sorry object oriented and object relational 2000 plus no sql okay so this is how our evaluation let us go one by one so let us start with the traditional file we will also call it as file flat file okay so what is flat file means flat file database is a database that stores information in single file so uh, generally what happens flat file will store the uh, information in single file for example if you have open a notepad and you have typed and you have saved or if you have open ms word or word pad and you have typed and you have saved some uh, file so this kind of files are called flat files so generally flat files what we will write we will just use a commas white space tabs or in the tabular forms we will generally creates okay so we'll also use multiple tables to create you can see example here it is notepad so we have used some comma okay so individually we'll call it as record see this each row is called as record right so this is how a flat file store is then what is really a uh, hierarchical model uh, hierarchical database uh, it is also called as a uh, tree model okay so generally we'll also call hierarchical data base in the tree model okay hierarchical model also called as tree model for example if you reverse this reverse this image okay if you make it up and down you will find a tree so where a root will be there from the root branches will come from branches again branches will come again we will have a leaves so how a hierarchical model means one to many relationship one to many relationship means see here you can see uh, first of all it will be in the parents okay having children okay and uh, what you are saying is child parent relationship okay for example electronics is a parent for the television and portable electronics and portable electronics and television are childs of electronics same way tube lcd plasma are childrens of television and television is a parent of tube lcd plasma so here only parent children relationship okay one parent many children so that's why one to many so one parent many children see electronics has two children and uh, both are connected to one parent so one to many one parent and many children's concept so it is called as one to many relationship right so next one is a network data board uh, network database model same like a hierarchy but here we have many to many means every parent is connected to another child see so last time what happens only a parent will connected to the is child okay for example once again we'll go back for example if tube is want to connected to flash or a plasma want to connected to portable they have to go to the certain process see parent again parent parent to child so in this form it has got now what happens in the network model see see a uh, salesman can connect to the order manager can connect to order customer can connect to order so many parents can connect to a child different childs so many to many okay even if suppose manager can connect to the item customer can so like this many to many okay so here many parents many childs okay so many childs can connect to many parents so that's why it is called as many to many right next relational model uh, relational mo type of model design the data in the form of rows and columns 
with a within a table so here data is represented in the form of tables so that's why relational model use tables for representing data so what we they use tables and uh, of course tables are also called relation so the word relations itself is a table okay that's why relational model is table model okay this model was initially described by edgar f cod in 1969 so in 1969 they have uh, initially described about this type of model right okay. so next comes to the object oriented uh, here if you have seen uh, c plus plus and java they are object oriented programming language right so here object oriented means the data is represented in the form of objects okay so you have seen uh, for example you have seen uh, last uh, relational model right okay so let let us discuss relation and object oriented so it will be a little bit uh, clear okay so that data system in which data or information is presented in the form of objects okay much like object oriented programming language so object or just like object oriented so what we are seeing is see you can see here there is a person name age set name so same thing if you see in the relational database what happens person is a table name name is attribute attribute means column heading age will be a column heading and set name will be a column heading. so same thing here how you are representing in the form of even the form of objects so this kind of uh, this form of data is called as object okay so and uh, the representation of this data is called object oriented database right now let us come to the object relational uh, so what do you mean by object relational means defining terms an object relational database management system displays a modified object oriented user display over already implemented relational database management system so what you are saying already there is a relational model now this uh, relational model is convert into the so modified object oriented see here you can see paras and a phone number okay so that again convert into the objects okay tanish again this is converted into separate every record is converted into separate objects so what we are saying a uh, relational database modified into the object oriented data model is called as object relational ship data okay so now what you are saying what you understood the relation already relational data exist that is converted into the separate objects so that's every record is converted into the object this kind of database is called as object relational database now comes to the next uh, this one is the advanced one no sql so generally people what they'll say no sql means no sql coding will be there or something no actually no means not only okay not only means no not only sql means uh, generally what happens our data will be structured form and unstructured form so 10% only 10 or 15% of data is in the form of tabular so remaining 90% like uh, images audio video are in the non structured data okay so structured means table form so what no sql is doing no sql database are non tabular database means it, it don't represent data in the form of tab tables okay and store data differently than relational tables so not like a relational table okay so it will represent data in the different forms for example there are many types document key value white column and graph okay so you can see here key value for example uh, you have a roll number so with the roll number university roll number is there with the roll number you can see the result right okay in the you go to the uh, result site and if you type your roll number you will get the result here also key value okay so key is the uh, roll number and uh, result is a value here so you can also represent your data in the column family okay so column family also not only column family documents graphs also so now nowadays the data is more 90% of data is unstructured data right so to help to store such kind of data no sql is very useful so nowadays you have seen no sql is very advanced one okay so people are most of people are using a no sql so this is what no sql is not only sql right so once again let us come back to the evolution of data so in 60s traditional file system in 70s hierarchical and network model means one to many and many to many here flat file means single file okay relational model means table object means object in the form of object operate object relational means converting the relation into the object model okay no sql means not only sql means non tabular form we can say right okay so this is what our uh, da I'm sorry introduction to database okay so here we have covered data information metadata database and evolution of database so students if you like my video please subscribe and uh, don't forget to like thank you